so good to see you. Thanks for dropping in. When you get a chance, look up Soul Liberation Day, December 7th. Oh, that's right around the corner. The transformation. Bless up. Bless up. Thank you for that. Uh, let's see. Talik says, can you send a shout out to my platform, the Realities Temple on on Earth Internet Ministry. Our theme this year is After Purge Comes the Heal. Sub, shout out to your platform, Talik. All the best to you guys with continuing to stretch in perspective, to stretch in what is possible, and to continue to bring healing into the space of yourself and others. Yes. In the name of my ancestors, Peace forever and always. You can be so. You can be so. You can be so. You can be so. You might go see him more often, but you know he ain't gonna leave you nothing, and you don't. He don't. You don't really give a damn about him like that. He ain't gonna give you nothing. So hey, and that's what it's all about. We we even use our relatives. If our relative, my mama won't give me five dollars to hit with mama. You know, mama see me two months later because mama didn't give me five dollars so I can get a pack of cigarettes. Hmm. See, we are in bad shape. And see, the Mississippi campaign addresses these things. We have to become a better people. We have to go through a metamorphosis in order to truly evolve. It does not make any sense to liberate yourself and stay who we are right now because you, you're going to lose in the, long, in the long term. You win in the short term, but you lose in the long term. We have to change. And religion has failed us. That's the purpose of religion. I was talking about this on my live stream yesterday. That's the, that was supposed to be the purpose of religion is to change us, to take us from this, from this low state to a high state. It has failed us. We got 5 billion. We got over 4 billion people, believers in God on the planet and look at the condition of the earth. Look at the condition of the human being on this planet. On their watch. We should be doing much, much better because people should be righteous and walking like God right now after 2,000 years. And they still sitting around here talking about, I'm backsliding. They don't have no kind of discipline. They backsliders. They excuse makers. Like, what the hell have your Quran, what the hell have your Bible done for y'all for the last 14, 2,000 years? And see, they want to get on my case and get angry at me. You the failure. Time has proven and shown that you are a failure. But you don't want to hear it. Well, it's time that you hear it. It's going to be heard. And if you reject this message that's coming from this platform, you're going to suffer the consequences. Because these other things got you living in La La Land. They got you living in fairy tale fantasy world. Bruce Lee developed something called Yi Kune Do, the way of the intercepting fist. Stop, stop the blow before, anticipate the blow before they can even get it off. These people aren't doing that for us. They don't react until you actually get hit. You should want somebody to think like Yi Kundo to anticipate the blow before we can actually get hit. Nobody talks like us. Nobody talks like us. They're going to tell you about what God going to do. That's nice if God do it, but what if God don't do it? We have to take responsibility for ourselves. And until this point, God has done very little. 
if a man or a woman don't do it, it don't get done. It's simple as that. And even the scriptures say, God only helps those who help themselves. So if you don't help yourself, nothing's going to get done. Simple as that. Scripture said, if you take one step, God will take two steps for you. So you, it's up to us to get to walking. It's up to us to get to moving and grooving. You can't wait on God to do it. We got to make that move. And you getting angry at me because I'm telling you, I'm basically repeating you what your own scripture tell you you should be doing. And you are an adult. You have a brain. You know what's disgusting. You know what's nasty and vile. You know that. You know that stuff. A lot of the things that we're doing, you know that's foul. It didn't come from you. We got it from somebody. Put in the chat room what you do that you do on your own. Nobody taught you nothing. Most of the things that we, we do, we was taught. You eat apples because somebody taught you that's an apple. We go to church because somebody, somebody taught us to go to church. The problem is a lot of the things that we was taught is foul. It's detrimental for our development. It came from a bunch of foreigners. It came from dead people that's not even here with us no more. It wasn't good for them. How the hell is it going to be good for us? We accept it because we don't use our brain. And it's not disrespectful to say, damn, what mom and daddy did back in the day, that was whack. Well, I can't do that. That was... Because you don't... Back in the day, they rode camels and horses and donkeys. Do you? That's what your ancestors did. Matter of fact, you keep going back. Your ancestors was walking. They wasn't riding a horse. They wasn't riding a donkey or nothing. They was walking. Everything they had, they did, they had to walk. You don't want to go back to walking like that. Some of y'all walk across the street and have a fit. I've seen people get in their car to drive across the street. I'm like, are you serious? They ain't walk across the street. Get in their car and go ride across the street or get on a bike. They're not going to walk. But when it comes to these old ass religions and these wacky beliefs, we want to hold that forever because that's what my mama did, great, great, great ancestors did. Mind you, you keep going back. Some of these people have some strange beliefs, which still, some of these people still practice it today in secret. You do know they believe in human sacrifice. A lot of people are missing in the United States. It ain't because of murder. It ain't because of, it ain't always because of sex trafficking. You have people out here looking for folks for human sacrifice. Sometimes, matter of fact, the nation of Islam, the original nation of Islam, that's what Master Farad Muhammad taught about human sacrifice. And that's why Master Farad Muhammad got in trouble in Detroit because one of the members sacrificed one of the other uh, Nation of Islam members back in the 1930s. Remember, ancient people believed in human sacrifice, especially virgins. Maybe that's why a lot of, a lot of that's probably probably why a lot of you ladies don't want to be virgins, because if they start human sacrifice, ain't gonna be me. <laughs> it ain't gonna be me laying on that slab. In Africa, they believe they can cure AIDS by having sex with a with an infant. They believe, you know, some African tribes believe in well, they actually they 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 drink blood, not only for sacrifice, but they drink blood every day. Uh, it's a people called the Maasai people. 
They don't eat vegetables or nothing. Their 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 uh diet is basically almost one hundred percent meat. They drink blood and eat meat raw. They don't hardly cook. It's very rarely cooked. They eat raw meat. But you 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 do. But yet we supposed to be more civilized than Europeans exactly. when it comes to yeah, man. yeah yeah exactly. And you also do know you want to do everything that your ancestors done. Some of them believe in cannibalism. So when you said, "Uh, girl, you sure look good," I drink your bath water and eat your feet. They they might really mean it. Put you put you in some water and some turnips. And some greens and some potatoes and some onions. Right. Getting ready, getting you ready for that one of them spirituality uh sacrifice cookouts. Uh. <laughs> Hey, yeah, man, this is true, hey, hey, boy. I tell but you, you know, when you if you hang out at the reality temple, you don't you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> but if you hang out with somebody exactly, sucker, <laughs> hey, you wake <laughs> up and you smell something smelling good. It might be you in a pot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you know, talk about what your ancestors did. Matter of fact, we don't even have to go that far. You know, my my ancestors was uh, people was sharecroppers. It's a lot of things they was doing. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it because they did it. That's that's, that's right. dumb logic. Because you might as well say, "Well, well, your ancestors did this and that." Let Let's go back and pick cotton and exactly. sugarcane. Then, <laughs> how about that? Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah, you that's know, a good point. Because they damn sure did a lot of that too. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't want to do that either. Not 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 be a slave. <laughs> because there's nothing wrong with picking cotton when you're doing it for yourself. Right. We need that cotton, make clothes, and do other things with the cotton. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you're doing it for somebody else and you're getting paid, my mother worked from sun up to sundown and got paid two dollars. Hmm. I'm pissed off thinking about it. Two dollars. There's ah. a documentary, and see, I'm a man. No. I'm a man. Yes, I'm a man. I'm a man. He's swimming on my black people. It's all about the unity, there's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving.